Are you ready? peeps uh how's it going and i'm not sure where this video is going to roll off into because we have a lot to talk about with this detroit pistons team but if you guys have not already uh go to everything king's channel the video he dropped this morning was fantastic i couldn't have said it any better myself so go check out everything king that being said let's see where i go with this we lost the san antonio spurs 136 to 109 something like that uh for the first half we played fantastic we were staying toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and it looked like it was gonna be a close game all the way through. It looked like it was gonna be a dog fight. Thumb third quarter, we just come out flat and San Antonio made us pay for it. You know, Greg Popovich is one of the greatest coaches of all time, if not the greatest coach of all time. So we got out coached, that's part of it. You know, Dwayne Casey's not a really big uh, X's and O kind of guy, which in, in the NBA, you don't really have to be, you know, but Greg Popovich doesn't have the most talent around. This is probably one of his worst teams under his belt, if not the worst. And they could not miss. They could not miss. At the same time, our star player, Blake Griffin, shot 18% from the floor and 30% from the three-point three line, 75% from the line. Um, Blake is not healthy. You know, there was a moment probably two, three weeks ago where I was like, man, he looks good. He's looking like he's getting better. Uh, obviously, he has tweaked that knee again because this is not Blake Griffin. I don't know who this guy is. The Pistons need to put him down. N not taking him out by the head, uh, behind the shed and shooting him, kind of putting him out. But sit him out for the year. Let this dude get healthy. You know, I'm sick and tired of this organization in Detroit running these star players into the ground like this. We did it with Grant Hill here in Detroit. You know, we ruined him. And, we you know, we got a broken Blake Griffin. But... We are not doing anything to help them out. The amount of injuries that this team has right now is insane. I don't know what they're doing in practices or what their pregame workout is from their trainers. But, God, it is not working. Something needs to be changed. But I think the best thing for the Pistons right now is to sit Blake Griffin. Because we're not doing him any favors and he's not returning us any favors. Compared to what he did for us last season, this guy's a completely different player. He's a shell of what he did last season, and it's not his fault. It's his body's fault. His body is betraying him. You know, it happens to older players. You know, the, uh, father time is undefeated. He is absolutely undefeated. And I'm not saying Blake needs to hang him up because, you know, when he gets healthy, he will produce. But I, I think what we've seen Blake Griffin do last season was the best we're going to see him do for a full year. Now, Blake's going to have more opportunities where he's going to get hot and he won't miss. But it wasn't like Blake Griffin was a great three-point shooter coming to the league. He had to bust his ass off to get good at it. You know, shooting 30% is not bad, but he shot 10 threes. It, that's not what we need, okay? San Antonio was killing us. We needed a bucket. Derrick Rose played fantastic. Derrick Rose had 15 at half, ended it with 24. Uh, Andre had 21 and 18. Those guys stepped up. Those guys played. But outside of that, no one else did anything. Our defense is... Terrible. Terrible. I don't know if we have that one guy defensively that, or should I say this? I don't know if there's that one dude out there in free agency or available in trade that's going to come in here and help fix this defense. It's terrible. It's, it's one of the worst defenses I have seen the Pistons play. It's terrible. We can't stop. We can't stop anything. We couldn't stop a leaky faucet with Bob the Builder. That was a terrible analogy. I'm sorry. I apologize for it. But you get the point. I keep saying that Detroit is one of these teams where they have a culture already. They have an identity already. It's defense. Through their history, it's been defense. Hell, I think the whole city of Detroit has that culture. You have to have a good defense to be winners here in Detroit. Because we don't get star players, you know. You're never going to hear a LeBron, a Kevin Durant, a Kawhi say, yeah, I think, I'm thinking about going to Detroit this offseason. No, never. Toronto is a beautiful city. 
you know? It's one of the best in Canada, so I'll go. I've never been there, but I heard it's like their LA. And Kawhi Leonard left it. He didn't want to be there to go to LA. Star players don't want to play in these crappy cities like Detroit. Giannis might be the exception. He likes it in Milwaukee. But again, he's an overseas player. You know, you, you get the point. That's why we trade for broken people like Blake Griffin who have an insane amount of money on their contract. It's all we can do because this front office has done a terrible job of trading away young talent. Spencer Didwitty, Chris Middleton, for examples, who are playing. Uh, Chris Middleton played like an all-star last year and uh, Didwitty is playing like an all-star this year. We could definitely use both of those players since we don't have a point guard. Um, that would be very, very nice. But we had them, and, you know, our front office decided to just kick them down the toilet and flush them for terrible uh, people who aren't even in the league anymore. No offense to Brandon Jennings. I like Brandon. He just got hurt. But if you look at the Pistons' mistakes, this should be a good team. This should be a fantastic team, one of the best in the league. You know, we could have had Kimba. We could have had Devin Booker. We could have had Chris Bosh. We could have had Melo. We could have had Dwayne Wade. I mean, it goes on and on and on. It's, it's, it's disappointing. It's heart-wrenching to see all the mistakes the Pistons have done. And this is where we're at now. We're at the point where we need to sit Blake Griffin to get better. It, it, it's mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. This could be a good opportunity to, uh, when Seiko gets rid of his illness, to get some uh, playing time. Son Maker only had five minutes last night. That's, I'm, okay, I'm okay with that. Uh, but your guys' hero, Tim Frazier, MIA. Told you guys he's not the answer. He just had a couple good games. He's nothing special. I, I don't know what you guys see in him. You know, even uh, even uh, broken clocks right twice a day. You know, we need a point guard. We need some wings. The, the Pistons just can't sit by and let this season continue like this. But the worst part about all of this, we're only a couple games out of the eight seed. That is the worst part about this. We're like ten games under five hundred. If not, we're pretty damn close, and we're still right there in the playoff hunt. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. So a big trade could fix this team's season and make it in the playoffs, but that should not be the goal for this team. This team's goal should be winning uh, more games and becoming the sixth seed and making that first-round game uh, competitive. Not saying they're going to win it, but that was the goal going into this season. And I said it beginning in the offseason, right after we got eliminated, that this season was going to be determined by injuries, especially after signing Derrick Rose. And we have just been flanked left and right with these injuries. But... Like I said, you just put Blake Griffin out for the year, man. Put him out. He just, he just doesn't look right. And I don't want to see him uh, five years down the line when he's out of Detroit or whatever saying, yeah, I was hurt and they wanted to play me. And it ruined me. I don't want to hear that shit. Get him out. Rest him up. Just get him healthy. All you can do at this point. And it's not like if you wanted to trade him, you're going to get that much in return for him anyway. You know, people aren't going to give you a Tobias in the first form. You know, he wasn't brought in here to be part of the future. He was here to win now, and we couldn't win now with him. And you're not going to get a lot for Andre, and you're not going to get a lot for Reggie. You're not going to get a young prospect in first-round draft picks for these players. Teams are just going to go after Andre in free agency, Dallas, Boston, whatever it may be, although his burner accounts that he didn't want to go to Boston, so I don't know. But these teams are going to come hard at Andre in free agency. They're not going to give up a lot right now. So if you, know, if you want to blow it up, those are only the three people you have to get out of here if you want to blow it up. And then, boom, you're good to go. You don't have to you don't have to sell the farm and everything. You really just have to get rid of Blake, and that's pretty much it. Uh, Andre and Reggie are expiring deals. They can just walk. That's salary cap. All you'd have to do is trade Blake, and that's it. We'll have to wait and see what's going to happen with this team. They don't have to do a full rebuild. So... Um, they will probably be pretty active during the trade deadline and try to salvage this season. I don't think that they're going to trade Reggie. I don't think they're going to trade Andre. And I don't think they're going to trade Blake. I think they're going to try to salvage this season because I, that's what they do. So leave your thoughts down in the comment section. Instagram, Twitter, DSM members in the description. Follow us all there. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.